This is Take Two Movie Review. I'm Mike Friend. This week, authenticity. One of the most popular movie genres is the coming-of-age story. Outside of profane comedies, the serious ones run from the dramatically profound to, when they go south, the profoundly dramatic. The new movie Lady Bird is a coming-of-age story, on the serious side, but not without some hilarious moments and subplots, and it hits every note. It's the directorial debut of Greta Gerwig, who also wrote it, as she did 2013's Francis Ha, and it is essentially autobiographical. Lady Bird, whose real name is Christine, uses the former as her given name, saying that she gave it to herself, and flying away is what Lady Bird wants to do. Stuck in 2002 Sacramento, which she describes as the Midwest of California, as a senior at a Catholic high school, she longs to escape to a prestigious East Coast college to lose her virginity and mostly to escape her harping mother. Only five years out of high school herself and with two Oscar nominations already, Saoirse Ronan is playing the role of her director, an arrangement that seems to work right out of the gate. Ronan's Lady Bird captures a range of teenage humiliations and awkward missteps, along with their seemingly gripping urgency. Playing Lady Bird's mom is Laurie Metcalf, who peddles pedestrian good sense as she works double shifts to keep the bills paid at home after her dad loses his job in corporate reshuffling. Dad, played by Tracy Letts, seems the only one who understands and helps Lady Bird with her East Coast college applications behind mom's back. Much as one would expect from a Gerdwig script, it crackles with precocious perception but is never overly cute or glib. Lady Bird may well prove that the third time's the charm for Ronan on Oscar night, and she might not be the only one winning. This has been Take Two Movie Review. I'm Mike Friend. Catch up with us at Take2MovieReview.com and feed us back on our page on YouTube.